Hello friends and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do a month to day drill down with the set action. Here's how it works. We have a line chart of sales by month. We click on a month and it drills down to the daily sales. Click off of the day and it goes back to the monthly sales. Here's how you do it. We need to start by creating a custom date. In this example, I'm not using Superstore. Sometimes I get tired of it. This is a fictitious software drink sales company. I'll put a link to this data set in the description. Right click on purchase date and choose create custom date. Call it month. The detail we're going to use is the monthly level and we're gonna use the date value. Date part would give us the names of the months, January, February, March, etc. The date value gives us the date of the month. So for example, January 1st, 2023. July 1st, 2023. Click on OK. Right click on that month field and choose Create Set. I'll leave it named Month Set. But notice here in our list, we have the month and the year. If we had created a set on the purchase date field itself, we would get each individual date. But in order to do our drill down, we need to be able to click on a month. That's why we create the custom date. Click on OK. Next, we need to create a calculation that's gonna go from the month level to the day level. Create a new calculated field. Call it month today. Our calculation is if the month set, then return the purchase date. Otherwise, we're gonna return the month field. End. Click on OK. Right click and drag that new field to the column shelf and choose month today continuous. Click on OK. Drag the revenue or sales field to the rows. Really, it can be any metric you want. I'm just using this one as an example. Now let's create a worksheet action to give it a test. Choose worksheet on the menu and actions. We're gonna click on add action and change set values. Name the action update month set. I like to give these the name that match the field that I'm trying to update. That way it's easier to debug later. Our source sheet is our sheet one in this example. We wanna run the action on select, but we only want to run it when a single month is selected. So click on the single select only option. Our target set is going to be our month set. When we run the action, we want to assign the values to the set and then clearing the action, we'll remove all values to the set because we want it to go back from the day level up to the monthly level. Notice we have this error message that says missing field on sheet one. We're getting this error message because our month set is based off of that month custom date that we created. And that month custom date is not in the view. I'll fix that in just a second. Click on OK and click on OK again. If I click on one of the months, nothing happens because our month field is not in the view. So what we need to do is drag the month custom date to the path shelf. Now, if I click on a month, notice how it drills down to the day level, but it's kept all of the other months there. We want it to actually filter out the rest of the months and only keep the month that I clicked on. If I click back off of that month, it goes back to the monthly view. So the drill down is working perfectly. The only issue we have to fix now is getting rid of the other months. To do that, create another calculated field. I'm gonna call this one show months in set. What we need to do here is we need to count the number of months that are in the set. The first thing we need to do is we need to say if there's something in the month set, then one, else zero, end. Now that we have that, we wanna get the maximum value across the whole window. Let's wrap that in a max to get the maximum value. And then we wanna wrap that whole thing in the window max and then close off the bracket. So what this is doing is it's getting the maximum value, either one or zero. Click on OK, and to see what's happening here, I'm gonna drag that field to the labels. Click on the field on the label shelf and choose Edit Table Calculation and make sure that all of the options are selected. Close the window. Notice how we have zeros everywhere now. That's because we don't have anything in our set. So our maximum value is zero. If I click on a month, I now have one as my maximum value. Okay, that part's working perfectly. Click off of the month. Now what we need to do is we need to filter out all of the months that are not in the set. Create a new calculated field. Let's call this one our months filter. Our calculation is if the show months in set is equal to zero, then true. So what that's saying is if our maximum value across the window is zero, then we want to set the flag to true, meaning we want to keep everything. Otherwise, we want to get either the maximum or the attribute of our month set, and then end. Click on OK. Let's drag that to the label shelf as well so we can see what it's doing. 
Notice how everything is true now. That's because we don't have anything in our set. If we click on a month, everything is false, except for the month that I clicked on. Those are true. Let's double check that this table calc is configured the way we want. Right click on the months to filter and choose edit table calculation. Make sure that you choose specific dimensions and both the month to day and the month field are selected. Close that window. Now, drag that months filter to the filter shelf and choose true. Click on okay. We can also now take the show months in set off of the view. Click on a month and it shows the daily sales for that month. Click off and it goes back to our monthly view. Click on another month and it drills down to the daily sales for that month. And that's all there is to it. A month to day drill down with a single set action. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and leave me a comment. How do you think you'll use this? Have a good day.